Hey guys, quite a few of you have been requesting another season of Ant Care Guides for a while now. I haven't been able to make any recently as I haven't figured out many species yet. But now that my Natonkas have larvae, I think I can make an accurate care guide for them. Enjoy! But first things first, you can't keep a Natonkas queen if you can't get one. Sometimes they are available on my Gumtree or eBay store for $30 a queen. But, since these are rare ants, sometimes you'll need to catch them yourself instead. You can identify their 7mm queens by the dark red, almost black coloration, and their plump pointed gaster. Their gaster looks incredibly shiny and has no sign of iridescence. And like most queens, these ants have an extra bulky thorax and visible wing scars. Their nuptial flights last throughout May and most often come out after rainstorms. Once you have obtained a queen, you should keep it in a test tube. I find 15cm long test tubes that have 15mm wide works best. I then fill the tube with one third water and then plug that water reservoir with cotton wool. I then use another piece of cotton as the lid, and I often dip it in sugar water or special ant protein before using it. These queens are somewhat claustral and somewhat semi-claustral. They can live until the larval stage without much food, but I've found that feeding queen sugar water makes them lay faster and more. Once they reach the larval stage, they need protein such as insect legs, protein jelly and protein powder. But with this species, patience is key. It takes them around 2 months to get larvae, and probably another month or two before they get workers. Once they do get going, however, they can absolutely boom in population, especially during summer. So that's it for today's ant care guide. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes.